best our podcast today Guest is Bree Shetland, she really kicks some ass She's fresh back from Lisbon, been painting there all day It's a lucky time, explosion smash like all go away E equals MC lucky time explosion! Oh my god, what, is, what day is this? Wednesday. Thank my god. Dudes. Welcome back, welcome back. We have a special guest all the way in from Portugal today, Bree Chapin. We're going to be talking about Bree's upcoming show, our own upcoming shows. Uh, quickly, a word from our sponsor, Solis Studio. Oh man, if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be here today. Quite literally, yeah. It's an amazing yeah. space. We both work here, so you know it's good. We do printing, uh, we do hanging, framing, business cards, websites, pretty much anything you need as an artist. Come check it out, solastudio.com slash membership. Anywho, welcome back. Thank you. Yeah, you're back from Portugal. How yeah. was it? Um, It's been really nice. Uh, we've been there. It's weird to have been out of out of New York for six whole months. Wow. Which is kind of crazy, yeah. Like we moved in October, and it's the longest I've been off this island in like my entire adult life. So it's been a little crazy. And then coming back was like, real you feel mind. like a culture shock. Yeah, but it, it, we slipped back into it really quickly. I think like mm. the kind of pace, because like Portugal's way more laid back. I mean, it's everywhere chilling. in the world is a lot more laid no back. No zoo crew, morning radio shows. Going yeah. Back. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, you know, it was like we had to kind of master the walk there because if you walk too fast, you look a little crazy and you definitely look like you're, you don't belong there. But if you walk mm. too slow, you look like a, you just got off a cruise ship. So I feel like we, <laughs> it took a while to like kind of get the like pace. The Lisbon The gate. Lisbon walk, yeah. Mm. And then, Are you a um, fast walker in the city though? Oh yeah, as soon as yeah. we got back, it was just like, oh, we're back to sprinting just like naturally. <laughs> I find that a lot of people, although, you know, there's a lot of people who do a lot of walking in New York City, of course. I feel like most people just don't know how to walk. Yeah. <laughs> and it seems like it's easy because we've been doing it for quite a long time, you know, you since we were babies. You're swimming, yeah. But these people in New York, <laughs> hate on me all you want, but learn how to freaking walk. You know, you got three people across from each other walking down the stairs at one time. You can't, you yeah. got to push them to the side. I'm getting to the and point. And then they stop and have a fucking conversation. I have, right. I, so I try to run to get to the six, you know, when I leave here. And the six is pretty crazy. If anybody knows the six train, it's pretty packed these days. All It doesn't matter what time of the day. Um, but there are people who sit at the bottom of the steps. Oh, God, Like, I why are that. you sitting at the, there are people like running, rushing to get right. to the train. And they're schmuck. Is just sitting there on the corner like, oh, la-di-da. Oh, someone's going to topple over that son of a gun one day, and he's okay, going to learn his lesson. You're, you're like at, you're where I used to live, like Myrtle Broadway, right? The Those fucking big, circus. long steps. Yeah, and they would always sit at the top of the stairs. I really, that pissed me off. Well, now at that stop, there's like two National Guards and like four hardcore decorated police officers right. like every day for the that? last like few months. Oh, because people have been like complaining uh, about getting like, you know, people, it's stabbed? typical. They're like, I don't like getting stabbed. <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't like getting pushed into the train tracks what, it's by free crazy people. That's initiation here at New York, getting stabbed yeah. and pushed into the subway. Right. <laughs> Let, now you know you're in New York. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> well, PSA always stand by the wall. Yeah, stand by the wall. Those I hold on to the pillars. I like grasp a pillar. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm hugging The it. train's coming. You got to do that. <laughs> just in case there's like a flood again, you know, like when they had the <laughs> drainage problems or downtown. Or yeah. someone just yeah. randomly <laughs> feels like throwing you into the tracks, which yeah. seems to be happening more often Apparently, these well, days. Well, that's why they're down there, I think. Anyway, what have you brought us on a lighter note? <laughs> oh, yeah. So, <laughs> what is this? this so this is good. ginger. It's a cherry liqueur that's very yeah. popular in uh, Portugal. And we got Ooh. it from Old which is a like little castle town anyway it's a bit early but i'm down uh, yeah i let's mean cheers to your upcoming show thank you so this is much some yeah. Potion yeah shit this is coming when cheers. is uh after well, let's take this first oh god Saud. Mm. um yeah so my show is opening up um friday may 10th at this awesome space called utah gallery utah gallery yeah at 104 charlton street so it's in tribeca um, and yeah, it's a it's a pretty exciting solo show. I'm going to be showing all new paintings that I've been painting like mad 
over back the in last my studio six months or so over the last yeah five or six months wow just non-stop i <laughs> people are asking me how wow. have you traveled around portugal i'm like mostly i've been in the studio <laughs> right you went there to just stay in the studio yeah Do you have a nice view from your studio window? oh yeah i have a spectacular view from my nice. studio i am i feel so lucky and like kind of like do you guilty. have a good photo of it because we could like just put it up on the oh green yeah i'll send you some here. photos yeah we have a really like spend the whole weekend in in lisbon with us oh man and it's so sunny and beautiful and i feel like just okay, this is dangerous. This is really good. Yeah, it's eighteen percent too, so it's not eighteen percent. Yeah, it's a little stronger than it looks. Uh, or taste. Or taste. Yeah, I it was tastes a like little delicious bit upset. cherry juice. I thought that it should be like ninety percent. Yeah, you alcohol. thought you'd have more of a kick. No, this is delicious. Will this be at um the, the name of your show is Girl Dinner, right? Is this going to be there? I'm no, gonna but I'm going to have a bunch of uh, a lot of wine, all pink, because most of my paintings these days and all of the paintings in this show are monochromatic. Fluorescent pink. Why'd you call the show Girl Dinner? That's funny. I like it. Um, yeah, it kind of came to me like I was shot, like thinking about ideas for the show and talking to the curator. Um, and then like like that sort of meme uh, took over the internet mm. uh, a few months ago. And I was thinking like, oh, this is like Girl Dinner. You know, like, you know, it's mostly paintings of women kind of just in a, I guess, in a fuck you moment, like in mm. a like just be existing in the world, which is weirdly political. Um, with, you know, like having a drink or just like, you know, lighting a Benjamin on fire like you do. Right. Um, and so it just felt like really appropriate. Like the idea of girl dinner is about like, you know, the expectations that we put on gals. And sometimes, you know, uh, you just want to like go out and have a drink and not have anyone. Yeah. Like one of these, you also brought some egg tarts. You're honestly, you're the, my favorite guest now. You brought cherry. Oh, thank you. Remember that. And egg tarts. Get out of here. Everyone else is coming on like. Sorry, this is the bar now. Yeah, you've got to You're bring exotic um, egg tarts from, <laughs> feed from abroad. Us. <laughs> yeah, Show feed us, us your appreciation. Bring us fruits. <laughs> <laughs> we will lay Late. down, feed us grapes, palm us. <laughs> okay, yes. that has to be an episode now. Yeah, you have to definitely. Bring someone. Yeah, we need someone just fanning us down and feeding us grapes. Yeah. <laughs> Well, memes change so fast, you know, and now, uh, I, I, now what, the big one now is uh, choosing the bear. Right, you, you've seen this. Yeah, that's no. gonna be a next series of paintings. Could you explain? Just like women and bears in the woods. Yeah, that'd be good. You don't know this one? <laughs> I was attacked by a bear once. This is well. This is the this is the bear. The thing. bear was defending a woman. I want to just show a picture of you being attacked by a bear. Yeah, but then afterwards, and you'll see in the next shot, we became friends. <laughs> You're giving you yourself that? a lot of Photoshop work right now. No, don't worry about it. He's like, I, he's like, I got actual pictures. I had a friend. He was a bear. We didn't, you know, know each other for too long. But the small amount of time that we had together, we had a lot of fun. That's really sweet. Mauling is a real bonding experience. Mm, yeah. Especially with a bear. So yeah. the bear thing is the meme is uh, asking women if they would rather be alone in the woods with a man, like a strange man that they don't know, or a bear. And most women are saying that they'd be more comfortable bear. with a friggin' grizzly bear. Than any strange man in the woods alone because they're more afraid. Definitely a black bear. bear because if you sneeze, a black bear will like run away from you. <laughs> yeah, right. I would choose a black bear. I kind of yeah, don't like either of the choices, but that's me. <laughs> <laughs> Bear. I don't want to be stuck in the woods with yeah. a strange man or a bear or both of them. Or yeah. neither. I don't want to be stuck in the woods anywhere. But. This is a stupid premise. I'm not going in the woods. I, yeah, I'm not that, I live in the Upper East Side. I'm not fucking going out you know, there. But you talking, talking about? about like, you know, really trending memes. I heard yeah. that there's one that just simply says Craig Lapp and believes in mermaids. <laughs> Yeah, and that seems to be taking the world by storm. Putin actually reshared that uh, through his uh, Russian social media. And um, people are just going crazy gaga over it, you know? Yeah. It's cool. If you don't know, Greg Lappin's his dad. Yeah, yeah. no, we're, I figured we're, yeah, it. we're pushing this narrative. Yeah. And he true. was in the Navy. He believes in mermaids. <laughs> he told me some crazy, I know. Do you I, believe in, and did you see did, any mermaids in Portugal? It's a very nautical city. Yeah, um, I haven't seen any myself, but why not? Yeah. You got to look real hard. You got to be Craig Lappin. I just want to yeah. see like a mermaid sitting on the beach in Lisbon eating a custard tart and just drinking an entire bottle of liqueur. Oh, That's yeah. what a mermaid would do. Yeah. That yeah. is true. Very girl dinner. <laughs> girl so dinner. You're, you're heading up to Harlem in a minute to, to like stretch your show. Yeah, right? I'm getting help from the amazing artist uh, Early Riser. So oh, studio nice. and street artist. Uh, when did you meet Early Riser? Oh, gosh. Um, well, I was a fan first. Um, and then I met her at a show um, and we became friends pretty quickly um, and she's helped me with a lot of things. Um, and yeah, so she's got the whole stretching canvas thing down. I'm bringing, so 
For you guys are like sort of studio mates, like in the same building. Oh yeah, we shared a studio for a while, or mm. like you know next door. Um, and then I'm going to be bringing. So I did 15 paintings um, in Lisbon, and we just brought them on a plane less than 24 in hours ago. Months? We landed. That's yeah. a pretty crazy kick. And they're actually. big. They're like um, 32 inches by 42. Ooh, so, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm really, I'm really excited for the show. So if you can make it, please yeah, come. Come um, on out. Uh, what? Tell. I want to know more about your pink phase. Okay. What's going on with that? I like it. Thank you. Yeah. I do too. Um, yeah, I think, well, I've always, anyone who's known my work, I've been painting for ages. Um, and, you know, we met like back in like 2013 or something crazy oh, yeah, like that. Yeah. It's been a while. Um, yeah. So back in the con art days. Um, but I've been painting in bright, as bright and obnoxious colors as possible um, for most of my painting career. Um, yeah, you and love also, that Liquitex, um, the Liquitex neon. Fluorescent, yeah. That fluorescent. And it smells like eggs. <laughs> Ugh, I don't hate that eat paint. it. It smells like eggs, like <laughs> sulfur rotten eggs. Well, I also Ugh. like the the Soho paint, uh, Soho Urban acrylics, and you can't buy them in Europe. It's really, really? so I've been trying to test different paints because um, I really like their. Colors. Are those good? Yeah, I like them. Okay, I mean, I you know I you know I paint in VR, so I don't use a lot of materials. Right, because VR doesn't smell like eggs. No, it doesn't. Unless, Do you think that in the future in room. VR will include like smells? Like, yeah, they oh, have it already. They no. Yeah, they have an attachment you slap on the front of it that like shoots smells out. <laughs> oh, and they actually the FDA shit. the FDA shut it down recently because they were like, they, These why would you want this? Smell sprays are not like of tested by the FDA. So this whole company that had this smelly <laughs> smelly mask for your VR had <laughs> to shut it down. It's genius. I mean, it's got to come back around. I'm sure they'll yeah, well. they'll figure out and and you know. I mean, it's so amazing. You know how we we come from like old timey theaters. You know, with yeah. shaking seats and squirting your face right. with those water. Were first. Like, yeah, those came out first before we had normal theaters. And sho they used to have seats that would yeah. shock you, literally yeah. shock you. And those <laughs> they should bring that back. That's yeah, that'd be fucking awesome. If you speak in the movie, you just get freaking electrocuted. Like. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's also a thing that would like really drive up ticket ticket sales because people would be really into that. Yeah, it's true. But There's I a lot more masochists these days than ever before. So, you know, you yeah, yeah. That, that would probably drive the prices through the roof. Everyone just wants to get shocked. <laughs> yeah. 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 We're all Shit. lining up to get our You know, maybe in. we should get a taser here <laughs> for the so for Solar Studio. If I'm out of line or a guest is out of line, you just fucking prod them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't you know, know how you could be prompt to think about that when our guest today has brought us egg tarts. And I know. Liqueur. I did this kind just of in, in case you, you had a taser so that I wouldn't get yeah. tased. Right. Well, I'm kind of thinking I just want you to tase me. That would be the okay. main reason. Okay. Yeah. We could do experiments. Okay. If you don't bring us cherry liquor and egg tarts, we will, t we will tase you. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. You have been warned. You have yes. been warned. Uh, but no, I, I bought a, um, I'm venturing back into the world of materials. That's why I was nice, asking you about nice. your paints because Ooh. I'm looking to get a couple little things. I bought a tiny desk easel because it was oh, downstairs nice. at the thrift store you know, oh, underneath okay. me. And uh, I, when I came back with the easel in my hand, you know, I was going out to get the wifey cigarettes and she was like, I can't send you out to get even cigarettes without you going into that freaking thrift store and bringing Oh, housing works? Up. Yeah, housing oh, works. Oh man, housing oh, works is an it, addiction. Man. It was $7. We were neighbors for a while. Want? Yeah, exactly. So we went to the same housing works. That place yeah. is amazing. Yeah, so was the uh, the other one next to it, the Upper East Side uh, yeah, thrift store. The... I like that one because it's like more crazy. Yeah, it's a little more chaotic. You can find some things. Um, speaking of chaotic, it's that time, Morgan. Is it is it a day? Yay! Is it a day? We have this segment that I hate oh, slash wow. love, where we're going to talk about what day of. The I love it. I get excited because I'm also a frequent viewer. Um, Yo, thank and you. I, I love watching this show, Yay. and I get Lucky excited about this. You can follow us on Clapper now. We just joined Clapper, the Texas TikTok. Uh, it's supposed to be for adults. They don't really care about censorship and stuff, so that's cool because we curse a whole bunch. We're freaking degenerate. We so. say words yeah. like duty and caca, and people are like, ooh, that's very dirty. <laughs> I cannot listen to this any longer. You with will the be mine. Oh, actually, TikTok did say uh, that they're going to, they have some like new policy now where they're like, if they don't like your, it's like some CCP shit. They're like, if you don't like, if you behave bad in real life or on other platforms, we'll ban your TikTok for that. So you don't even have to do anything on TikTok now. You can just be like a notorious shithead in some other way. Yeah. And they'll be like, get off our platform. That's I think they're exciting. trying to, there's a lot of kids on it. So I think they're Fair. like trying to make it more kid friendly. Oh yeah. I get um, on uh, Instagram, my stuff gets flagged all the time because I paint a lot of women like drinking oh, or yeah. smoking or rolling a joint. But the one painting that I have that's gotten flagged over and over again, every time I post it, it's just 
a portrait of a woman just like looking off into the distance. Yeah, like this. She has nothing in her hands. She has a shirt on. She's just like I'm... crying at a party. And then every day they're like, get this off. It's sexual. It's sexually. It's exclusive. too sad. And I'm like, that just shows how y'all think about women. Girls should be happy <laughs> at just, parties. Get women this out of here. It's women weird. existing is a sexual thing. Uh, every time I post my face, I get flat. This is why I, I'm really, not sure what the fuck that means. I really think that one. I think I commented this on your post when you yeah. said that. I, I think that I, it's like the pink is like throwing off the receptors and it thinks it's looking at. Uh, 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 uh. And not a not, not a wistful. You mean nah. drinking one of those icy pops? Yes, yeah. that's what I mean. Yeah. Oh. Exactly. That's what I mean. YouTube <laughs> shape exactly. Like All right, before I get us kicked <laughs> off YouTube too, what what day is it? Let's, I'm ready. I'm ready so to know. What weird I'm ones. It's I'm... reward yourself day. Oh hell yeah! Which for me it means just getting hammered and laying back in bed. Okay. Um, <laughs> Here you go. Get oh, drunk and fall back asleep. So... <laughs> It's okay because it's Iris Day. If you like those flowers, it's oh, Jamestown's nice. Day. If you like that colonialism, Wait, Jamestown shit. or Jonestown Day. Jamestown. <laughs> okay, Jamestown. Got yeah, it. don't drink up on Jonestown Day. Yeah, Virginia. Boring. Boring. It's boring. Not, this is I'm a bored, weird one. Morgan. Do you have any good ones? I'm yeah, bored. Uh, Everyone's uh, bored. They're listening at home. They're like, God, this sucks. Well, what I better get it? more drunk before I tell. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the good one? This is like almost like cough syrup. <laughs> it's like cough syrup. It's freaking delicious. That's probably where it started. Because like yeah. most things that we drink is like liquor and cocktails right. and stuff. I'm pretty all sure medicinal. that this is probably so this is the medicine. same. medicine. It's good for you. Yeah. No, this is the same recipe as a matter of fact. It's I'm like pretty sure. NyQuil. This is NyQuil. If it was a Jägermeister Appreciation Day, we would tell the story. <laughs> oh, that's one drink I would not drink. I love it. It's oh, good. It's, it's a like... stomach remedy, though. It's a stomach remedy. That's a blackout drunk. Yeah. It's true. Are yeah. there any good days? It's a though? liqueur, though. It has lower lower proof than um, a lot of liquors. But yeah. people it depends people on how much you drink. It. Yeah, it's like a wine, like a strong <laughs> wine. But are yeah. there any good holidays today? It's National Animal Disaster Preparedness Day. Animal disaster? Like we got to be prepared for animals coming in and causing <laughs> like a disaster? Horses running around London like, covered in blood? Yeah. It says circumstances may compel you to act. Plan ahead of time for yourself and your beloved pets. It just is boulder That's dash. Ominous. The whole thing is malarkey. Yeah. Um, if your name is Dakota, this one's for you. Happy Dakota Day. National Dakota. give someone a fucking pancake. No, sorry, cupcake. <laughs> Cup cupcake. Give someone a fucking cupcake. Day. If you There's like Coca-Cola, right you're going to be downing Coca-Cola today because it's National Have a Coke Day. Oh, I do love Coca-Cola. Pepsi people are pissed. <laughs> um, <laughs> They're Mormons. They can't have it anyway. Let's see. Okay. It's National No Socks Day. I like this one. National No Socks Day. If I had known that when I was getting dressed, I might not. I might be celebrating. I just want to throw a warning out to anybody who thinks it's safe to wear sandals on the streets of New York City. <laughs> you may get a fungus, <laughs> and the reason that I'm telling you this is because it happened to me. And I'm I'm, I'm a clean freak. I scrub. I'm nasty. I go into the fucking bathroom. I pluck. I see if there's any like hair sticking out of my ears. I reflect the light on it and shit. I'm I'm crazy. I pluck. Yeah. I'll do all this shit. And you still got fungus. And I still it. got fungus. So wear your fucking socks. No <laughs> socks day. Get out of here. Get out of town. Oh, this one's pretty weird. But this is for all the dentists and all the people who have a root canal. Not oh n what? It's National <laughs> Root Canal Appreciation Day. Appreciation Day? Those were the root Does anyone canals. appreciate those? <laughs> I love that one. Okay, that's officially the best one. Uh, root Canal no, Appreciation Day. No, I day. have one that's going to beat it. No, you, no way. Yeah, it's what could be better? It's World Donkey Day. Tap that ass. Okay, fuck, that's pretty good. Yeah, Donkey World Punch. Donkey day. For everyone. No. It's a <laughs> pretty kick-ass no? holiday. I mean, that's not the, that's not real donkey. We're supposed to appreciate the animal oh. today. We're supposed to go to the Grand Canyon and force one of those poor creatures to take I just our fat ass say down to the bottom. I just want to say about the Grand Canyon, yeah. and I'm sorry to anybody that has lost a loved one who has stepped too far back. Yeah. Ooh. People but fall out What of a way to go. Really? Yeah. All the time. People Ooh. also die from hiking down there. They don't think that it's going to be that. they like, that's an easy hike. No problem. But it's, it's like two days. Grand. And then they, like, they get Canyon. They Hot. get dead. Ooh. They get dead. <laughs> this is another reason to stay in the city. Nature is brutal. It it's is. full of bears and, and yeah. canyons. I don't ever leave. crazy shit about uh, zombie deer disease. Something with zombie. Have you read about this? No. Yeah. Look it up. Something with zombie deers. Yeah, I don't know. Great. That sounds I love like a that good for subject us. painting for that would be a good subject for one of your paintings. A pink <laughs> zombie deer. I would like that. 
That's hard. Is that a commission? All right. How, wait, Remind actually, me what later. is your take on commissions? How do you feel about commissions? How much do you charge? Do you do them? Uh, how do you do tell you people to fuck off or do you tell people to give me all your money or are you like really way too nice? Because I mean, only I love a options. commission. Do I love do? doing portraits and like strange things portraits? for people because it's like new ideas and kind of interesting things. Right. Um, and usually they're not going to commission me unless they like my like style and color palette, especially. So. Right. So yeah, I'm I'm pro commission. <laughs> I think the cherry liqueur is getting to him. Yeah, wow, well, banging face around is, in the microphone. Your face is turning. I'm going to take this away. From I drink like Mountain Dew, and I make that face. <laughs> That's true. That's your kind of permanent face. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like I forgot what movie it was. Like if you make a funny face, it just slaps you in the back. Yeah. Your face stays that way for the rest of your life. Yeah, that's true. That's actually what happens. Shit. I Watch took out, a commission kids. recently. I had to take a commission for a birth card, which is interesting. Like somebody's having a kid. And they want me to do like the official announcement birth card that they're going to send to everybody, which is kind of like nice. It seems pretty big deal. It's cool. Birth reveal. But they're just like so vague in what they want. They're really nice. Like I love clients like this, but also I'm kind of like I need a little more because they were just like, I love what you do. I like this thing you did. Do something like that. And I'm like, it's like a one-eyed Cyclops hairy monster. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, for your baby? Like, like well, that was what, what was on the ultrasound. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I, I'm going to feel so bad if, like, I get a picture of the birth card that I did that not like that and their baby looks just like the little Cyclops <laughs> I painted, you know? It's, like, identical. It's got a long neck and hair. And it's got, like, one big oh, eye. And they're like, God. shit, I see why they wanted that now. But yeah, clients are either like, no, I, I you know, do whatever you want. That's and what then I you're get like, too. I don't know what to do. Yeah. I get that. And and um, sometimes they're like, all right, do what you always do. Yeah. Like yeah, we yeah. Said. And then you do it and you're like, I don't like I'm not that. feeling it. Yeah. I'm like, okay, then give me a little bit more direction. You get a little bit more direction. Like, not feeling it. I'm like, you're wasting my time. <laughs> You, you gotta feel put that way? Has revisions. that ever happened to you where it's just like gone back and forth and someone's like, yeah, no, yeah, no. I'm no. pretty clear up front that yeah. like um, this is basically what I'm going to do and I hope you like it. And if you don't, probably. Leave me alone. You know, it's just <laughs> yeah, like. Go away. Also, like your your work is more complex and involves like a, a lot of like elements. I mean, collage work in general True. is like that. Whereas like a painting and a portrait, you know, like. I, I do a lot of faces. I do still life, although I haven't gotten any commissions for still life paintings. Um. You know, it's pretty straightforward. Like it's it's a it's a person yeah, doing something. Yeah, true. Like so. so, as a collage artist, um, well, as an analog collage artist, you say analog. No, I'm I find sorry. That, I find and that no, goofy, honestly. I find a no, goofy. Um, analog. No meanness towards people who You're are strictly alone. digital. But if someone asks me to do something quick, I mean, there's there's you know, with so finding the right source material, finding the right images, and everything like that, to do it analog, a commission. It's very difficult. Oh, yeah, very, imagine. very, very difficult. So when it comes to that, usually I'll go to like digital for editorials and stuff like that. But mm. um, yeah, yeah, collage is a pain in the ass. <laughs> but you love it. Oh, it's life. Yes. I mean, you, you would have it. to love it because the amount of work that goes into those, I can't even like. I have pieces fathom. that like the, taken over a year. So yeah, yeah, that's some wild stuff. What's the longest time you ever spent on a painting, Brie? Oh gosh, I don't even know. I think the longest in recent years, because um, I've definitely spent, you know, untracked amounts of time, but I've started tracking the amount of time it takes to do things just for my own sanity. Yeah. Um, the still one of the still lives that's going to be at the show. I was working on for over a month, mm. which for me is not like I usually paint not super fast, but I, I usually fast. have a pretty clear direction of what I want to yeah. do, and I just get the paint on the canvas, and I'm like usually quite happy with it. But like still lifes I take a lot longer just because there's so many elements and details because you want them to read, right? Like most right. people, like a portrait, you, you can read a face and you kind of have it in your muscle memory. How you like, to the you shading. lean a little bit on people's brains to fill in gaps and stuff. Yeah, and like with my color palette too, um, I've <laughs> made it really hard for myself because yeah. it's fluorescent pink and like I pretty much just and have white. like darker and then lighter. Yeah, I use white to bring it up and I use a bit of red to bring it down. Just red, so you don't like put any black in it. No, I don't put any black in it. So the red, mm. like Otherwise the darkest, it would be vibrant. Have you found yeah. that you've I mean, gotten faster over time? Yeah, because like I, I sort, you know, like with anything, you sort of develop your own like language and your own system for it. So I have actually like a um, a level chart, I guess, or what do they call it? Like a 
I've I have jet lag and I just had some <laughs> cherry liqueur, but um, <laughs> so I've got like this palette that I use. It's on paper, and every time I mix paint, I just kind of reference that because it helps a lot. Mm. Um, but like when you're doing still lifes, you know, like on a portrait, like you you sort of know the lights and the darks. I'm like, okay, this is gonna need you know red number five or like pink number two. I have the mambo in, number five. Mambo number five. They always need mambo number five. That's that goes. Yeah, that trying saying. to carve That's out a, stuff in monotone, especially not putting any black, has got to be. Hard. Yeah, I made a challenge. For myself. Yeah, that's that seems like a but very challenging. And like thing to when do. I'm doing these, um, the still lifes are often like a large mess of objects and things. Yes, and I want them to read, and I also like the colors can be similar to like very close to each other. So getting right. the shadows and still making them legible is I like an the still life work a lot. Thank that's you. One of my favorite uh, genres of yours. Thank Genre. you. I like skulls and little things and bottles. And I don't know why something about still life work I really like. Yeah, I've started, I like wasn't as into it a, long, a while ago. Actually, during the pandemic, I started doing more still lifes and I realized there's like this power, this n powerful narrative you can build around objects. Mm, yeah. Just put together that immediately people start building a story around it. Um, and yeah, I started so exploring that a lot. Clues, you know? And now people, there's more people who will be like able to pick up on subtle stuff. And Yeah. Although so it, it is a weird kind of phenomenon too, where like the more stuff exists and the more things people know, the less like everybody knows one thing so you'll yeah. find some people who are gonna like a whole group of people who will identify all what, what you're saying immediately and then other people will be like no i've never heard of uh blonde ear prints what are you talking about yeah or you're like, like you know. i got my iggy pop shirt on I'm yeah really they'll be like who's guy. that iggy i pop, saw him live last year <laughs> yes <laughs> iggy pop is a very famous k-pop band yes. um and yeah he has a whole choreography and everything on stage so you should definitely learn all the iggy pop dances Saggy. How do you feel about getting old? <laughs> Iggy Pop got old. He's still rocking it. Yeah, we saw him last year on stage, and Damn. he was awesome. Yeah. We saw him and Debbie Harry. Oh, um, yeah. And who else Who else did we see? Like the, the Buzzcocks? That gives me hope if Iggy yeah. Pop is still. Oh, man. Him. They had to like stop him from stage diving because <laughs> he like, was like ready to. You're going to break a hip. Please and then, yeah. step back. <clears throat> I don't know. I think he's going to outlive us all. Probably. You're going to split open. Don't okay. <laughs> Dear Iggy Pop, we love you. Yes. And keep going, man. Nice. How long are you in town for? How long do we get you? So yeah, I'm here for the whole run of the show, which is May 10th. It opens 6 to 9 p.m. at Utah Gallery. Ooh, Gotta shot that out. 6 to 9, May 10th, indeed. Yes, please come. Um, and then it runs through the 18th, where we'll probably have a clo closing reception as well. Um, and then we'll be here a few days after. I think we fly home on um, like the 21st. Okay. Cool. So yeah, and then uh, fly yeah. home. Uh oh, I, I know, it. right? You it's said weird. it. You've it's abandoned weird. the greatest city in the world, and now I've, Lisbon's home. No, I've been a New York creature like my entire life. Yeah, and it's so weird to like now start thinking of a different place as home. And then I came back, and it was like I don't know, having like an intense thing with an ex, where New York was like, "I'm still here for you, baby." Oh, geez, yeah, that's got to be a little weird, huh? It is a little weird, but like we I was talking about this for some reason. I was talking this last night with my wife. She said that there's in Swedish. We're talking about Swedish. Apparently, they have no word for house, but like 20 words for home. Oh, well, that's really that's so interesting. Sweet. Yeah, so you know, home is where the heart is. And and you and your wife, who I also yes. absolutely adore, um, you live right across where we used to live, where we yeah, had an apartment for years. You're not staying there. No, you're... no, we're staying down in Fidei this time. I know it's Ooh. super weird because like it's a new neighborhood, but shoot. Okay, well, think that was a good time plug because we only have a couple minutes left, and I figured we could. I want to. We have to taste these egg tarts. Oh, okay. I want to. I, I want to try and taste those. We can okay. close the show out with that. some really creepy mm -hmm. um, eating ASMR. It's a mukbang time, you guys. We gotta try a what? This. What? No, actually, I don't want to know what you a mukbang wait, means. You don't know what a mukbang is? Really no, quick. and I actually don't know if I want to <laughs> know what that a means. A mukbang is like a video of somebody just eating an obscene amount of food. Like they'll pour out like twenty-seven packets of ramen into a big jar with like four lobsters, and they'll just sit there and go. That sounds. And you just watch them eat it, and that sounds like something strangely. I wouldn't be super into. Anyway, well, cheers, cheers to your salut. show. Thank you. Yeah, go see cheers. girl dinner. We're gonna have our girl dinner. <laughs> You got to get, get out of here. Go see Girl Dinner. Details in the link below. Bye. Thank you guys so much for joining us. This is Bray Chapin. See you next time. Thank you. Oh, Bye. Thanks for having me. Fresh back from Lisbon, been painting there all day. It's a lucky time, explosion smash like all go away.